Whether you are new to winemaking or have been in the industry for a while, one organism you are likely to encounter is that of Brettanomyces bruxellensis, commonly termed Brett. Brettanomyces is a stray yeast related to Saccharomyces that can enter wineries via grape skins, barrels, winery equipment, and fruit flies. Like Saccharomyces, which is the dominant agent in wine fermentation, Brett converts sugars to a wide range of compounds, such as alcohol and carbon dioxide. However, unlike Saccharomyces, Brett is often considered a spoilage yeast due to its production of volatile phenyl compounds. Volatile phenyl compounds, which originate from the aromatic amino acid phenylalanine, contribute to the aroma of wine, and in the case of Brett, often emit flavors resembling gym socks, fecal matter, barnyards, leather, band-aids, metals, or medicine. While it is untrue that there are good and bad strains of Brett, it is true that the same strain of Brett will sometimes perform differently under varying circumstances. Such circumstances include the region from which the grapes came, as well as differences in grape sugar levels from harvest to harvest. Thus, while high levels of Brett can be ruinous, suppressing a wine's native fruit flavors. Low levels can add pleasant notes of spice and cloves, accentuating a wine's complexity. For this reason, some locations, particularly those of southern France and Italy, endorse small cultures of bread as part of their region's natural terroir. Although there is debate regarding the desirability, or lack thereof, of Britannomyces in wine, most experts would agree that controlling its levels in order to maintain quality and prevent undeniable spoilage is a must. Unfortunately, due to its tenacity, once Brett has entered a winery, eradicating it completely is virtually impossible. Nevertheless, when detected early, winemakers can often reduce Brett's presence to unperceivable levels by sanitizing barrels with steam or ozone and using sterile filtration methods prior to bottling. To learn more about Brettanomyces and the debate surrounding its desirability, please visit the following site.